Hello everyone, I'm Dave Robbins with End Time Ministries and this is your Prophecy in the News. I want to read you some excerpts from Obama's speech that he gave yesterday, uh, September 24th at the United Nations General Assembly. And in this speech he dealt with several issues of prophecy that we've been watching for years, of course, and we're coming to the culmination of them. And I want to go over a few excerpts and point out a few things from his speech. Um, of course, Mr. Obama first started out by praising the United Nations, which as we know is a world governing body. And the Bible says a world government will be formed just before the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's Revelation chapter 13, verses 1 through 4. Then he goes on to say, preventing a nuclear Iran and solving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict are the two top priorities for the rest of his presidential term. U.S. President Barack Obama told the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday, in the near term, America's diplomatic efforts will focus on two particular issues, Iran's pursuit of nuclear weapons and the Arab-Israeli conflict. While these issues are not the cause of all the region's problems, they have been a major source of instability for far too long. And resolving them can help serve as a foundation for a broader peace. Obama said in his speech that Iran's nuclear program and bringing the Arab-Israeli conflict to a peaceful end would be the primary diplomatic initiatives going forward for the rest of his presidential term. So what does this mean through the eyes of prophecy? Well, we know that there's a war coming, the sixth trumpet war, not the Battle of Armageddon, two separate wars. This is the sixth trumpet war. It could happen at any time. It's the next prophetic event prophesied on God's prophecy time clock. We know that because the first five trumpets, you understand the seven trumpets in the book of Revelation, the first five trumpets have already occurred. So that leaves the second one is the next prophetic event on God's time clock. And so Obama is saying that one of, the, one of his diplomatic uh, issues, the foreign policy that he will take up for the rest of his presidential term will be to keep Iran from um, acquiring a nuclear weapon. Well, of course, he would like to be able to do that through diplomatic relations, but if all else fails, he said we're willing to go in militarily and do that. So we, if he went in military tomorrow, the next day we would start World War III. It's not going to happen. So one of the things that he is focused on for the rest of his presidency is keep, uh, keeping uh, Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. That could start World War III. So we'll have to watch that because if you remember about a year or so ago, Israel and the United States were both prepared to go in militarily and it kind of calmed down because Iran has a way of saying, well, let's just have some talks and we'll enter into talks with you. And they've got a way of delaying things, but that's not going to last forever. So the Six Trumpet War is what we need to watch for. The second thing, second diplomatic relation uh, a foreign policy that uh, Obama is going to uh, dwell on during the rest of his presidency was the Israeli-Palestinian conflict or getting them to sign a peace treaty. Well, we know that Daniel 9.27 says that the Antichrist will confirm the covenant or sign a peace treaty in the Middle East and that will launch us into the final seven years to the Battle of Armageddon. And so these two prophecies, the Sixth Trumpet War, which is found in Revelation chapter 9, verse 13 through 21, and the peace treaty, which is found in Daniel 9, 27, the Antichrist will confirm a covenant with many for a seven-year period, or an interim peace treaty, uh, or an interim agreement. These are the two things that are the next prophetic events on God's prophetic time clock, and they are the two things that Obama is saying he's going to focus on for the remainder of his presidency. These are the two top issues. So you say, well, are we living in the, in, in the end times right now? We absolutely are. The first thing he did was praise the world government. And the Bible says there's going to be a world government set up. And then he says, hey, in the rest of my pre presidency, the two top things I'm going to focus on is keeping Iran from getting a nuclear weapon and this Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The two, the next two prophecies that are supposed to occur on God's prophetic time clock. So we just wanted to keep you up to date because prophecies are coming to pass so quickly now that it's almost hard for us to keep up. We're doing our best and we want to keep you informed on what's coming in the near future. A six trumpet war 
and an Israeli peace treaty with the Palestinians. Thank you very much. I'm Dave Robbins with End Time Ministries, and this is your Prophecy in the News.